So here we will see the difference between the Nigeria meningitis and the Nigeria gonorrhea. Nigeria meningitis which causes meningitis and the Nigeria gonorrhea which causes urethritis. The difference between them is, is uh, very difficult to remember. So that's why we will first see the mnemonic for uh, memorizing this difference. So I have made a uh, mnemonic that is let's see the mnemonic first. So the mnemonic is that Nigeria gonorrhea causes intracellular gonorrhea so this statement has literally, literally no meaning but uh, by that statement we can remember the difference very easily Nigeria gonorrhea causes intracellular gonorrhea okay so by Nigeria we can remember that and for Nigeria and for non-capsulated gonorrhea in gonorrhea we have G so it ferments only glucose glucose ferment fermenter so Nigeria gonorrhea is a glucose fermenter so by G we can remember glucose fermenter causes so uh, causes is written with C but I, I have written it with K to remember that it is kidney separate diplococci okay it is a kidney separate diplococci and intracellular gonorrhea means intracellular means it is an intracellular organism and gonorrhea the chief uh, the G means it causes genital uh, i mean it has a genital tract habitat so it is an organism on the genital tract so nigeria nigeria gonorrhea causes intracellular gonorrhea by that statement we remember these points and by remembering this point we can very easily write the difference between nigeria gon uh, nigeria meningitis and the nigeria gonorrhea see here nigeria gonorrhea means non-capsulated we have seen Nigeria gonorrhea causes intracellular gonorrhea so Nigeria gonorrhea causes intracellular gonorrhea so uh, and for non-capsulated so obviously it will be capsulated then this was kidney separate diplococci this is lens separate so if one is kidney separate other will be lens separate okay so Nigeria gonorrhea ferments only glucose but this Nigeria meningitis hormone ferments both glucose plus maltose. See here, M and G both are there. So it ferments glucose and maltose. Well, gonorrhea only ferments glucose. Okay, uh, and let's uh, jump to the number fifth difference that is, it exists in intracellular form, but Nigeria meningitis exists in inter intra and extracellular form so it uh, Nigeria meningitis exists in both the forms while Nigeria gonorrhea exists only in the intracellular form and the habitat of the Nigeria gonorrhea is the genital tract which is urethra while the habitat of the Nigeria meningitis is nasopharynx is nasopharynx so by uh, that uh, mnemonic we can easily remember this difference the one more extra difference is that the Nigeria gonorrhea have plasmids which are coding for the drug resistant but Nigeria meningitis do not have plasmid that is one more difference okay that is one more difference between them that Nigeria gonorrhea have plasmids they have plasmid but Nigeria meningitis do not have plasmids okay so this is all about the difference between the Nigeria meningitis and Nigeria gonorrhea and by that mnemonic you can easily remember this difference.